Despite Keir Starmer's play pretend words that he's going to get tough on immigration, which is essentially just a ploy to avoid losing too many votes to reform, we all know that the Labour Party are Blairite globalists who will only continue the massive levels of immigration the Tories had. In fact, they'll probably make them even higher. And as per usual, it doesn't matter whether you actually want mass immigration or not. They don't even consider that. Instead, Angela Rayner is saying that every single borough in the UK is going to get its, quote, fair share of migrants. Essentially, what this means is even if you've moved away from the enriched metropolitan centres in the UK, you're going to get diversity from the third world, whether you like it or not. I mean, why wouldn't you want your quiet village or town taken over by a load of Somalis, Bangladeshis and Eritreans? What's wrong with that, you bigot? Rayner is trying to make out the present system is unfair because there are more migrants in Labour-controlled seats than in Conservative areas. But this is a total red herring because Labour-controlled areas are cities and this is where migrants always go to as well as migrant populations from generations before and young people such as students who usually vote left usually live too. So when the Labour Party states it's going to scrap the Rwanda scheme, which is going to lead to 90,000 migrants having the right to settle in the UK, and Rayner states every borough has an obligation to take on their fair share of asylum seekers, what this means is that the Labour Party want to flood the traditionally non-Labour voting areas of the country with migrants so they have a consistent voting base that can upset the political balance of the country and render the Labour Party our eternal masters. This may sound conspiratorial, but remember the comments by Andrew Nether, a speechwriter for Tony Blair that Peter Hitchens dug up. The driving purpose of mass immigration was to make the UK truly multicultural. The policy was intended to rub the right's nose in diversity and render their arguments out of date. And this has always been the Blairite project. It's always been the globalist project. It's not about holding hands and singing Kumbaya and teaching the world to sing and being loving and compassionate. It's a globalist coup to take over Western nations with leftist ideology and neoliberal economics. And do Keir Starmer and Angela Rayner truly grasp the magnitude of what they're engaging in? Probably not. They're just useful idiots who believe in adolescent utopian propaganda. Their ultimate aims are just to see the Labour Party stay in office. However, our aims should be much bigger than that. As a people, as Europeans, we should become aware of what's going on globally and plan accordingly. The kickback after the next election to the right, in my opinion, is going to be absolutely massive. These are just my thoughts, however. Do let me know what you think down below and do consider subscribing to the channel.